Hello friends, I am Dr. Avinash Nayak. I welcome all of you to this MOOC on Academic Counseling for Audio Learners. In this video, we shall be discussing the characteristics of online materials, how to design these online materials and how to make these online materials accessible to the learners. In the last three decades, we have seen an increasing demand for online courses, online programs and MOOCs. The online courses and programs have attained increased popularity during these years because of their accessibility, affordability and flexibility. The design, development and delivery of the online programs are different from the design, development and delivery of the programs based upon the printed text in the ODL system. The course contents of the online programs, they show some unique characteristics. Now let us see what are these characteristics. First of all, the course contents are designed or prepared according to a recommended model of instructional design. The recommended models are AD and Assure. In the AD model, A stands for analysis, D for design, D for development, I for implementation and E for evaluation. In the Assure model, A stands for analysis of the needs of the learners, S stands for statement of the standards and objectives, second S stands for selection of the media and methods, U stands for use of the media and technology, R stands for requiring learner participation, and E stands for Evaluation and Revision. The course contents of these programs, online programs, they are technology enabled and are interactive by nature. The interactivity of the course contents promotes responses by the users, allows the users to make use of the resources presented in different formats like image, text combinations, drag and drop options, scrolling text and lets them customize the mode in which they want the contents to be presented. The courses are offered to the learners as supplementary courses in addition to the traditional courses which they pursue. Learners often pursue these courses for skill development or knowledge enhancement. Activities for interactive, collaborative and cooperative learning are integrated with the course contents. Discussion forums, wikis and blogs are provided to the learners to facilitate the flow and interaction of open ideas and promote autonomous learning. The course contents of these online programs are written in a friendly, informal and personal style in active voice. They activate the interests of the learners by keeping them engaged in different activities during the course. They are learner centric because they are specific to the needs of the learners, roles and responsibilities of the learners and they are also relevant to the learners in their personal life. They are segmented into different modules to facilitate assimilation of new knowledge and to allow the flexible scheduling of time for learning. Each of the modules has some specific objectives or learning outcomes. The lessons and activities in the courses they are divided into small chunks. We can see the extensive use of audiovisual technology in these materials. We can see the use of simple resources like e-resources or interactive e-lessons, electronic simulations available on the LMS on the university website. Hyperlinks are provided to the learners to help them understand the difficult concepts or ideas and have a clear and more detailed understanding of these concepts. Assessment is usually carried out in these courses through e-assessment on the online platform. Assessment is mostly self-assessment which gives a scope to the learners to make an analysis of their progress or gauge their progress from 
time to time. Learners get instant or immediate feedback on their performance during e-assessment on the online platforms. The assignments and the tasks they are generally time bound and they require the learners to complete them in time. Personalized learning paths based upon the learners needs they are also provided to the learners to promote seamless learning. Learning analytics is also integrated with the course contents to help the teachers and the learners gauge their progress, check their progress from time to time during the course. Now let us see how we can design the materials effectively. In addition to the course contents which are covered in the modules, we must focus on clarity, aesthetics and neatness to make the course contents appealing to the eye, legible and understandable. We can achieve these things by first of all combining texts and images but we must ensure that there is no excess use of either the images or the texts that will spoil the beauty of the page. Second, by presenting the information in clear, standard and legible ways by using bullets, charts, lists, different kinds of fonts. By using clear and succinct language, the language should be very much understandable and comprehensible to the learners. By having icons to help the learners visualize and recall the recurrent information. By choosing graphics, images, multimedia as for the defined purpose. Now let us see how we can help the learners make use of the course contents properly. First of all, we can help the learners by giving them a tutorial which will help them handle the course properly and make appropriate use of the course contents. Second, we must have a section which will focus on the core elements like the syllabus and the schedules etc. We can also have the bibliographic references and links to complement the course materials which are there in the course. We can have an FAQ, frequently asked question section, which will help the learners troubleshoot their issues or problems with both the content and the technological parts. And most importantly, we should also have a copyright compliance notice to guide the learners in the proper use, treatment and distribution of the course contents. Now let us see how we can make the online course contents accessible for the learners. In order to make the course contents easily accessible for the learners, first of all we must remember that there should be buttons for all kinds of things. That means there should be buttons for going to the previous section, to the next section, to the home page, to the menu section, like that. And the button should be located in a particular position on the screen for ease of navigation. The contents should be presented in very simple ways and the pages, that means the pages which are visible on the screen, they should have meaningful and self-contained chunks so that learners are able to clearly understand them before they proceed to the next page. Learners should be provided concise flow of information so that they are able to understand the contents properly before they proceed to the next page. We should also provide them the bookmarking facility or the menus facility so that they are able to control their progress during the course like stopping, restarting, pausing, rewinding like this. They should also be given the option to move within the menus and exit from the section on which they are working at a moment of speaking. And finally, they should also be given help and hint buttons to troubleshoot their problems here to find solutions to their problems which they face during the course. Thank you very much. Happy learning.